Hey guys, it's Tori and today I want to discuss six novels, Victorian novels, that I am hoping to read before next Victober. Originally I was planning on doing a video in which I discussed five star predictions for Victorian literature. However, some of these I really want to get to but I don't necessarily expect to give them five stars. I just really want to give them a shot and try to enjoy them. So a lot of them are ones that I'm hoping to give five stars, others not so much. But we're just going to talk about these six novels and they're all ones that again I hope I get to before next Victober. I will say though as a warning for those who end up being very concerned, I did not include any Hardy or Bronte novels on this list and the reason for that is because in 2021 I have a goal that has to do with both of those authors with that single author and that author set I guess that will have me read some of their novels for next year already so I didn't want to like be redundant I guess. So anyway I have authors besides them on this list but I will be reading stuff by both the Brontes and Hardy don't worry about it. But anyway let's just get into this list. So the first two I have to mention were actually on my TBR for this year my Victober TBR however at the point I'm filming this I'm a assuming I'm not going to be able to get to these two so I thought I'd put them on this list. The first one being The Half Sisters by Geraldine Enzer Jewsbury. I really really want to get to this. If you don't know this follows two sisters who were born to the same father but different mothers. They don't know about each other. One I believe lives in Italy for a time and she ends up becoming an actress and the legitimate sister ends up living a proper normal life and they end up coming into contact with each other so we're able to compare their different lifestyles based on whether they were legitimate or illegitimate and how that affected them throughout their lives and I'm really excited to read it. It's not very long either so it should be a good easy quick one to pick up within the next 12 months. And the other one that was on my TBR for this month that I really don't think I'm going to get to is A Study in Scarlet by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I really would love... Oop, there's a hair stuck on it. <laughs> anyway, I would really love to pick up the Sherlock Holmes series. I've been a fan of Sherlock Holmes movies for a very long time and I just have really wanted to get into this series. I don't, this is one that I don't think I'm going to give five stars. I could be totally wrong. Maybe I'll end up loving it, but I just really want to enjoy it and just have it be a fun romp of a read for me and I'm just very excited about it. Next on this list is Adam Bede by George Eliot. Originally I was planning on reading Silas Marner first just because it's shorter. I've heard it's a pretty easy read for George Eliot so it's easy to get into and I may still read Silas Marner before I get to this one. However, Adam Bede is one that really catches my attention. It has that fallen woman trope that I love that I've mentioned a lot this month I feel like. And I also just really want to get into George Eliot in general and I know that Kate from Kate Howe really loves this book and I think I will too. So this is one that I hope to get to ASAP. Next of course we have to put a Dickens on here and I have Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I considered doing David Copperfield but I just, I first of all I have two other longer novels, Adam Bede and one other that I'll mention a little bit that are pretty long Victorian novels and I just think they're gonna take a lot of time so I didn't want too much of that to read especially because I have two other novels that are not Victorian but are classics that I want to read this next year and they're both very long and intimidating so I don't want to have too many long novels on my list for this so I decided to go with Great Expectations because of that. And also Jennifer from Jennifer Brooks really really likes Great Expectations. It's her favorite Dickens, one of her favorite Victorian novels, and I just really want to see why she loves it so much. To be perfectly honest, like she's the main inspiration for me to put this on my list because she is one of my favorite YouTubers and love watching her videos, and I feel like we don't have exactly the same taste. There's definitely some things that I think we have different reactions to, but there's a lot of stuff that she reads that I'm also interested in, and anyway, so I'm very curious to see how I end up feeling about Great Expectations because it's been so intimidating for me. So anyway, that's on this list. Number five is He Knew He Was Right by Anthony Trollope. This is one that I've wanted to get to for ages 
and I finally having read The Way We Live Now or hopefully soon to get through it as I'm sure I won't be done by the time this video goes up. I feel like I've gotten into Anthony Trollope and it's time for me to get reading this one that I've been dying to read for so long and I'm super excited. If you don't know this follows a husband and wife who are having issues in their marriage and that's literally all I know but that's all I need to know because it's Anthony Trollope. I love his writing, I love his characters, and it has that wonderful trope, and so I am sold, and I hope I really, really love this because it just sounds so up my alley. And last, but certainly not least, I have North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. Yes, I have completed Ruth. I am into Elizabeth Gaskell. I'm into her writing and I am ready to take on North and South, which people on booktube rave about all the time. And I'm so excited to finally read it. I did several years ago watch the miniseries and really enjoyed it, but I honestly remember just about nothing about it. So I'm really excited to read this and hopefully I'll enjoy it as much as everybody else seems to. So that is it for my list of to be read Victorian novels. Please let me know in below some ones you're really excited to get to as I would love to know. I hope you are still having a wonderful Victober. Happy Halloween and I will see you next time. Bye!